Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a recap video on my journey to the volcanic eruption here in Iceland. Now I did try to do a live stream of it, but unfortunately, because there's like no internet connection in a lot of the areas and parts of the trip to the actual eruption, uh, everything got kind of wonky. And if you were watching, you'll see that the quality went really, really bad very quickly. So what we're looking at here is just some highlights from that live stream of the drive. And we drove from Reykjavik all the way to Grindavik, so past the Blue Lagoon, and then up from Grindavik to the eruption area. Now, there wasn't that many people on the drive there, but you can see here when we actually got closer to the eruption area, there was just tons of cars. And it was very difficult to find a parking spot that was going to be somewhat close to the area where you start walking so we had to drive quite a ways down the road now even today i mean we went last wednesday but even today it was reading in the news that there are just so many cars there today that they just had to close the road and there was no more parking available and the day that i was there when i was leaving i read that there was around two kilometers of of just cars parked and you can see here, as I said, it was just car after car, and we were hoping to find somewhere really close so we didn't have to walk any extra kilometers than we already had to. So again, sorry for the bad quality, but when I'm filming this, the, the reception was not very good. Again, this is kind of in the middle of nowhere, so they don't have a lot of cell towers. Plus also, you're surrounded by mountains, which would be blocking any cell signals getting in. This part here, what we're looking at, was actually part of the walk from the second parking area as we were trying to go towards the main path that they had built. So they did this one here from kind of this makeshift parking lot on the grass, which we had to take. And I think it added maybe an extra one kilometer or so. The only the downside to this one was there was a big steep hill that we had to climb and then go back down before we even got to the main path. So it was, we were already a bit tired, whereas on the way back, we ended up just taking the road and not taking this path, just following the actual paved road towards the first path, which was a lot easier. Here, we can see it's fast forwarded, we've walked quite a distance, and we're starting the climb up over this mountain. And you can see there's the first climb, and then as we're moving up, there's a second part, which is at the top of that hill. Now what they've gone and done is they've put in these ropes to make it a bit easier, especially if you're going in bad weather. I, I couldn't even imagine. We went and it was a really nice day. It wasn't too cold, it wasn't windy, it wasn't snowing. So the climb was actually fairly easy for the most part. There was the rope and it was good to have that in case you are kind of worried about sliding down, but you know you didn't need it if you're experienced hiking or climbing. So here we have at the very top of the mountain, we're kind of walking through. You can see some people brought their dogs, uh, which is not recommended by the way, but we're walking towards and in the distance, there's sort of this the black area there. And my camera was getting worse and worse of cell signal as we we're getting close to it. But that area there towards the center, that black mound is the actual volcano. And I remember I was sort of joking as I'm walking here saying, I know that my phone's going to cut out just as we're getting close to it. And it did, unfortunately. So I got some pictures to show you and they're really great and hopefully you enjoy them. So this was as we're approaching the volcano. It was a very great picture and just more and more pictures of that kind. Now I'm taking all of these with my phone. I didn't want to spend a lot of time with the actual camera. There's a ton of good pictures out there. You can see here, I have some really nice pictures of close up to the lava and the lava flow was fairly quick and fairly close to we were, where we were all sitting when I first got there. There's no real limit to how close you can go. There are some people there that are, they have uh, gas level monitors and they beep and they're wearing gas, gas masks and oxygen, I believe. So they are able to assist. And if the levels rise in the gas that become dangerous, then they'll just ask everyone to move back a little bit more. But in terms of how close you can go, there was no real enforcement per se. It was just kind of, don't be, don't be dumb. This is very dangerous lava and you can really get hurt. 
Now, mind you, there were some people toasting marshmallows on some of the lava, and I myself, I went further where there wasn't active lava coming down, and I grabbed a little piece of the cooled lava rock, which was really, really cool. But that's it. I just wanted to show you. I know that it, I had the live stream going, and it was my intention to have it go all the way to the volcano, and I was really excited to do that. But unfortunately, because of cell signal, it didn't work out. So I hope you enjoyed the recap. As you can see here in the final shot that I wanted to show you, I did tell a lot of people that I was going to have a beer by the volcano, and I did. I brought a beer, and it was, uh, I mean, it was after lunch, so I felt, I felt okay doing that. I did bring my trash with me, so that's another thing. There's more and more garbage there, just if you are going there, or if you're anywhere else in the world that you're going somewhere that's sort of a public place, just bring your garbage with you. I mean, it's, it's not hard to do. Just bring, bring it with you. So that's it, just a recap, and uh, yeah, hope to post some more stuff later. I'm going to be posting another video, and uh, actually, you know what, it's going to be in the top right corner. So there's going to be a link to a five-minute video that I took of just the lava kind of flowing, and I thought it was kind of relaxing just sitting there and watching it, and I hope you do too. So that's everything. Take a look at the video in the top right if you want to see the lab video or some of the other stuff I've posted, and if you want to see, I do have a live stream going of the current eruption which is a great place to just hang out and there's a lot of good information in the comments uh, or sorry even the chat section for people who know a lot about volcanoes so until next time thanks so much